everyone so in this video I'm creating this look which I'm calling the golden goddess because it does look it looks badass oh I think most things look badass okay so um, rewinding it's called the golden goddess because the lips are gold and in a part of the eyes gold and uh, rose gold is also as my highlight set this little set played a major part in this makeup so I like doing things that are a little bit different, that aren't ordinary, because ordinary is boring. You know, perfect is boring. Be imperfect. Your imperfections are what makes you fun and interesting and perfect. That's how it goes. And the hair is probably a mess, but the hair is always a mess. I've given up with that one. So keep on watching to see how I did it. I'm using uh, Neo Eyeshadow, this red one and this one and a little few other things and you know what keep on watching to see how i did it and i hope you enjoy this video <laughs> okay i already went over my eyes with this um light white basically a nude matte shade you want to even out your eyelid before doing anything on it just to get a nice smooth base nice smooth canvas that you want to start working on so now i'm going to take my flat brush i like it because it's a flat brush yeah you you know you never have to use the things i use just use something you want something you have something you like i am making it wet with my this um Makeup setting spray matte, but again, like if you don't have anything, makeup setting spray or something, just you know, flick it. It it does the job. And uh, then I always take a little bit of a tissue and then dab it off a bit just to get rid of the excess uh, moisture because if it's very wet, it's just gonna. Well, if it's very wet and you put it on your eyeshadow, it's going to suck, suck in all the moisture because this is a powder, it's a pressed powder. All eyeshadows are pressed powders and it's just going to be a complete and utter mess. So this is my first colour, this is my Mio OMG eyeshadow in number 13 Chili and uh, I'm just, you know, coating this whole, whole thing with uh, this red one and now I'm going to go straight in to my eye and again put it, in, it on my lower lash line, lower lash line, I did say it correctly this time, lower lash line and drawing it up. However up I want to go, I am going quite heavy, so quite up, not completely up to my um, brow bone but quite up and this is my line and now I'm going to start just pulling down and filling out this line and see it's a really nice like bright 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 red color and I always start filling it out with pressing first on the lower lo lower one and then lower and going to uh, the out inner inner part of the eye and then just uh, like this filling everything up so it's a triangle I do love creating triangles I always create triangles when I'm creating my makeup looks let's put it like that and just completely covering it up and I am going over my crease line so crease line is this one here and I am going above it and I actually I'm going to take my first I went in like this now I'm going 90 degrees I'm changing it 90 degrees and pulling it up like this and filling it all in so this is pretty much like filling the blanks right now that's what I'm doing filling it all in and just yeah you know swipey swipey put on the color and as i took it quite a lot on my brush at the moment i don't really have to tape on any more color at the moment so yay for for thinking i usually don't think my stuff through but this time i did i'm very proud of myself so it's okay if it right now it does a very harsh red line just put it on because you're currently working with it slightly wet so wet, wet pigment, your brush is still wet, well my brush is still wet, I have no idea what you're doing there. <laughs> Do I want to know what you're doing there? I don't really know, I don't want to know what you're doing there. <laughs> so, okay, I'm moving back to me, so I'm also bringing it here, down, see, like completely coating the whole eye, and I am going pretty much almost to the inner part, almost completely into my inner 
inner corner like this and drawing this straight red line like this and I'm making all of my eye red at the moment so now I have a severe case of red eye is that a good thing is that a bad thing I don't know I just have a severe case of red eye at the moment I am proud of myself yes you know if you're not proud of yourself then no one else will be so always be proud of your yourself and your accomplishments so I have gone in about 75% of the uh, eyelid, so 25% inner one is clean right now and it does go up with this kind of a slanted line, like this, the slanted line is going on. And just making sure it's all here and everything's covered and this is what I'm going to leave it for a bit, you know. A badass red eye. So I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye as well so they would even out so I would actually have some kind of idea what to do next. So I will be right back. A really severe case of red eyes going on at the moment. So now I'm going to take my eyeliner from H&M and I'm going to take this gold color. So if you don't have this, you don't have to go and buy this. Just use some kind of a cold gold color or yellow color or whatever you want. You know, always make up is always use whatever you want. So taking it. And now let's start layering, layering it on. So now I'm going to focus all of this in the inner corner. So I'm just going to take it and start layering it on. And if you're working with something very, yeah, basically it is a liquid eyeliner. That's what it says on the box. It's a liquid eyeliner. Does it say on the box that it's a liquid eyeliner? It should say. I think it does say it, that it's a liquid eyeliner. So don't close your eyes because then you're going to have an imprint anyway. So cover the inner part, also the inner corner. And on the lower lash line, kind of just, you know, see. Um, if you're putting it in the inner corner, then also connect the inner corner with the light, slight, okay, not slight, very dark red line you've drawn underneath here. And inner corner, up, and see when I closed it went up, but that's a good thing right now because I want to connect completely with the, see, if it's here, the red line is here, the big red line, then I want to connect it with the red gold not red it's gold but a gold line and line so I am going to draw it completely up here like this so it's all connected yeah connected and then slightly drawing it on the red as well you know on the red as well so it's slightly drawn on it like this so there can be a slight, well, stark. I wanted to say stark, not slight. There can be a very stark line here on the red one. See, after and red. But there shouldn't be a very stark line here. Or, you know what? No, I like it when it's a very stark line here as well. It makes it very interesting to look at. And I like stuff that is interesting to look at. So going to put this one back in and going to take the one on the other side. So I think this is copper and this is rose gold, but I honestly have no idea because I have no idea what rose gold looks like. Fun, right? So taking this one and now this with this one going only to the inner corner. So this is going to be one badass inner corner highlight. So just tapping it here like this. So I get this really nice stop in a corner line, like this. So when you look, you see the uh, inner corner highlight first, and you see the gold, and then you see the gold that's going into the red, and that's what I liked. That's what I wanted. So I'm going to do the other eye as well. I'm going to let this one dry a bit first, and then doing the other eye as well, and I will be right back. I like it. I think it looks really interesting. So I'm going to take a little bit of black eyeliner, any black eyeliner, you can use a pencil as well, and I'm going to go to the outer corner with this one, very slightly, keeping it on the outer part, and not going completely in, so giving the outer part a bit of a definition, like this, and also drawing the line here 
onto the very lower part of the of the red of the red yeah yeah you can say that that's a grammatically correct sentence then completely that completely describes what my actions are at the very moment huh. <laughs> so drawing it on like this and getting watery eyes because I am playing with liners here and of course getting all the liner here as well and my hands are full of it and oh, life is life is hard let's put it like that so life is very hard and I'm ruining my makeup and life sucks nope wait life went better I stopped crying life got a lot better apparently so I kind of like this little uh, mini line here. You can go a, a lot bigger with the liner, but I kind of like it that it's a little bit there, but it's also pretty much not there. So I am going to do the mini liner on the other one as well, and uh, I'm going to put on some lashes, and then I'll be back to see what else. Like this. You know what? I'm going to call it the Golden Goddess because that's what it looks like to me. So I am actually going to finish. No, wait. I added some mascara as well. And actually, um, the thing that it got watered a bit and it's a bit smudged out on the lower outer part, I like it. I think it adds a little bit more to the whole look, you know? I like it. And if you like it, then that's the most important thing. So I am going to actually, if it's the golden goddess, then I'm actually going to create my, crop my face a bit. So it does look like a golden goddess. So I am going to put some more bronzer on my cheeks, especially make them really chiseled and really defined. I am going to use the same red one that I put here as my blush. So I want to see how that works. I never used it as, like that before. And I'm going to use another... Uh, Neo number 03 Breeze as my highlighter and make it really really strong and I think I'm actually going to use the eyeliners as my lipstick and I'm really really curious about how it turns out so you know what I'm going to get everything ready also do something with my hair and then I will be I will be back and that will be the final result and that will be it but I will be back soon Okay, so I actually used my eyeliner, which I completely misplaced. <sighs> Did not misplace it. I used actually this one as my uh, lipstick, and this one also as my highlighter, so it's very highlighty. So I actually liked um, overall what it sees. Um, it does because this is used in the inner corner, on the nose, and on the center of the lip, so it makes it very streamlined. It is possible to use this as a blush, but then I kind of went over with my, you know, fingers because it was way too much. But I like the look. I, I'm golden, calling it the Golden Goddess. I think I already said that, but I can say it again. And I like how it looks. And now I just have to, you know, smile with the eyes like Tyra Banks said. And pose. And I think I look completely ridiculous. Maybe even cross-eyed. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to shut up now. So thank you for watching my little video. I hope it was fun. It was a lot of fun for me to create this, which I do not know if it, actually, if it works on camera as well as it works in my little mirror here. So thank you for watching. I hope it was very fun to watch. It was very fun to create. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye.